Hi, my name is Brian. I'm going to show you a little tool that I developed and also one of the helpful jobs that it's useful for. This is the tool. It's a conventional slide hammer and then the adaptation is a submarine sonar. <laughs> Just kidding. Is a pair of vice grips. And what I did is I took a nut that's of the same thread and it's castellated, which actually kind of helps for strength and getting it welded on there. But it matches for the slide hammer. And what this does, as you can see, is it enables you to use a slide hammer in conjunction with a pair of vice grips. Now to the subject matter. We've got a car with a CV axle that won't come out. And we pride and pride and pride, and it just won't come out. It's a Toyota one where it's kind of recessed in here. And then it's got three points where you have a slot like this. There's a special tool that you have that grabs the axle and knocks it out. But we don't have that tool. We have this one. So what you do, this is the axle that we just pulled out. And I basically just take a pry bar and pry the outboard part off and catch the grease using my hand <laughs> in this case. Or you can use a drain pan or have something with more preparation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the vice grips and I'm going to grab the cup part that this used to go in. And we're going to pull this out. So you take these, you get in there. You can either grab the outer part or the inner part. Just whichever. Make sure that you grab it really tight because the surface that you're grabbing will be lubricated. So you want to bite into it a little bit to penetrate that and get a good grip. I'm just glad my face isn't being filmed right now as I try to close this. <laughs> so I'm making faces. Alright, so we're locked onto it. Now we want to pull and support with this hand so that it's in the straight out direction. And then slide hammer with our other hand. And if it looks easy, there's something deceptive because it's not super easy, but at least it gets it done. And that's how the tool works. If I were to use a love tap scream, like in my other video, probably would have gone faster, but I don't want to scare the cameraman away. So I just went with a conventional silent technique. So anyway, I hope you like the video. If you do, be sure to click subscribe, it's gray button above, or you can add two down arrow favorites. And uh, be sure to rate thumbs up or thumbs down. Thanks for watching.